Hello, Floss Tube. Hello. Check it's... out our snazzy socks. Life's a stitch. Decided to put mine on because Kelsey came over today and had hers on. So. Hey, Floss Tube. It is Tuesday. Who knows what day? April 14th. And what day is it of coronation? Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Day 30. We'll just say that. Um, I am totally not ready for a floss tube because I didn't know Kelsey was dropping by today. I'm cracking the whip on her. She needs to have another floss tube. <laughs> so she came today and um, said we're doing a floss tube. So hair's kind of motley. What you see is what you get with Made by Mama Joan. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the truth? Okay. So what are we talking about today? Kelsey's supposed to be here talking today, but... I have nothing to talk about. I have done zero stitching. I've done 100% homeschooling. She's homeschooling kids. Let me tell you a cute little story about homeschooling. So she's got the two boys at home. Well, she's got four boys, but two of them are school age. And Charlie's seven and Finna's six. six. And so one day, I don't know what were you talking about that the kid, that Charlie was... We were just simply doing homeschool stuff and he was getting very frustrated. So I said, why don't you take a break and then come back when you're in a better mood, you know, to tackle your homework. And the first thing he said was, <clears throat> Teacher, yeah. teachers don't talk over students. That's, that's what they said. Okay, sorry about the background noise. So first thing he says to her is, teachers don't talk over the students, because apparently she was trying to get a point across. And then he's got he's quite ex he's got a lot of quite um, expressions, and he was going upstairs, and he turned around to her and said, "And you don't even look like a teacher." Who knew? Who knew she didn't look like a teacher? Not sure what teachers look like. Anyhow. <clears throat> That's off the stitching subject. So I did have a finish, um, a stitching finish. I haven't finished finished. So I got this one finished. This is the Scarlet House Sweet Tomato. Look at how cute it is. I did use um, just DMCs on this except for the tomato, which was Weeks Dye Works Candy Apple. I did use that and I stitched it on 36 count <clears throat> summer khaki. So I managed to get that I done on Easter. I didn't want to do anything on Easter except stitch. But I did do some other things, but I didn't want to do any sewing and I didn't really want to do any house stuff, although I did do some house stuff because there's so much to do. But I did, I did stitch a bit, so I, I finished this, um, which I didn't think it took me too long to stitch it, considering I hardly am stitching anymore, like I used to. Hope to get back to that. So after I got done with that, I really, 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 really want to start something new, but I thought, oh, I better stay on task with my... Um, Let's see here. So there's the beginning. My f modern um, folk art 2020 sale. So that's how much I have done. I'm I'm almost on the. I'm almost done with it. I mean, I think I'm about halfway through. So I I am working. I'm trying to stay on task so that I don't get behind. But check back with me because I may get behind. So, <clears throat> I will talk, I, I really don't have a whole lot to talk about because like I said, I haven't really been stitching much. But I really wanted to start stitching something out of this book and I really think I want to start to stitch that. So I think I'm going to look for some um, fabric and maybe start stitching on that. I, I want to start that or the other one. I've seen this one on quite a few um, Instagram pictures. Few people have gotten this finished. 
And so I'd really maybe like to start that one too. <clears throat> and really should I be starting anything new? Because I have a basket of whips here. I did start this Blackbird one. In fact, one of my friends started it. I started it shortly after she did. She's finished. I am not. To my defense, if I have any, I I um I haven't worked on this at all. I do have I I don't know how well you can see all this. If it'll help to put a book behind there. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. The light is kind of bright, but this is what I do have done. And maybe instead of starting a new Blackbird one, I should um, maybe pull this one back out. And I haven't touched this one for a while either. So I have Harriet Salt. And I haven't touched this one in forever. And I really was kind of on a roll. Because I do have, let's see, I do have this much done. So I have one one side almost done to the to the top. This one's kind of fun. I think I can't. I wish I could remember. I'm doing this on a weeks. It's a 36 count, and then I'm using a silk that I oh look at I unearthed the scissors. Here's the fun thing about digging out your old whips. I was just thinking about this scissors the other day, and it's one of my Dovos, and it has a cute little tchotchke on it, <clears throat> scissor fob. Hmm. That's with this little project. Good to know. So there's a few options I have if I choose not to start. And I can't remember when I asked Kelsey this. I think I did talk about this. Me and my stitches. I did buy this little, the little box from there. And I decided, I know I talked about it, but since I've talked about it, I wanted to put, I put a little piece of wool in there. Just because whenever I throw my scissors in there, it's quite clunky. So I did throw some wool in there just to kind of keep it quiet. And the only other thing I got, I have received as, um, and I can't remember if I talked about this either. I did join Color and Cotton, the fabric. I did this <clears throat> six month prepaid. And then I get the, it's the 17 by 26 inches, so. I don't think that's a fat quarter, it's a, is it a fat quarter? I don't know. Anyhow, this is, it just said it was a limited edition Edinburgh 36 count, and then I got two little flosses with it. So this, this is really only my only acquisition. I'm kind of waiting for a club kit from Dying to Stitch. I think that one is the quaint country ladies is coming out. And then since this is the week that I would have went to the Dying to Stitch Retreat, I'm hoping that maybe they're sending their, um, their retreat kits out because that's what they were going to do is just send their retreat kits out. So there's that. So um, I don't really have that much to talk about today. I was going to try to dig out some vintage and I just hadn't gotten around. Like I said, this was like a last minute, hey, I'm here, let's do a floss tube. Now Kelsey <clears throat> got some fabric. I don't usually buy fabric from Joann's, but she was intrigued by this simplicity fabric. So she bought this vintage simplicity fabric. This would be the outside of the bag. So she got that and then 
And there's little sayings on here. Darling, I'm in the middle of being fantastic. <laughs> Other days I can't find my glasses because I'm already wearing them. So there's little sayings. That'll be the inside. So I don't have a whole lot of this. I'm making her, I think I'll have three, three bags. Um, and I think instead of listing them on Etsy, I will list them on my Instagram and it will be whoever me pleases and sends me their PayPal address. You can just message me your PayPal. You can me please on the post on the post and the first ones, however many bags I get out of it, um, to me please and then send me your PayPal. You can own a bag if you so choose. <clears throat> I think I, I also have I have one of these I have a set of these left. I believe it's a large and since I only have one, I think I'm going to throw that on Instagram, too, and um, do it that way. I just, so this is my brief little shop update because I didn't know I was doing a floss tube. I didn't have anything ready as far as bags. So I'll just talk about my sweet tomato pattern was in there. I have another tomato plant pattern I'm going to do, so I still have some of these available. And the other one I have is this Chelsea um, bouquet um, bag. It's got sampler fabric on the inside. I don't know if you want to take the pick. And, you, know, you can see there's sampler fabric in there. I have a handful of those left. So if you're interested, visit my Etsy shop made by Mama Joan on Etsy. And you can check out what I have. And I may have something new by Friday, depending on how things roll around here. I'm kind of on the tail end of getting stuff done. So um, I may or may not have something new, but you'll find that on Instagram too. And my Instagram, of course, is made by Mama Joan. So I think, I don't know how many minutes we've got here. Gosh, not very many. That's okay. That let's, uh, <coughs> let's end on our, on our feet again. It's a floss tube mini. Mm -hmm. Here we go. A floss tube mini. So here's our, our little feet. Our feet among the stitching. So I hope everybody is well and enjoying their coronacations as best you can. I'm going to be glad when things go back to normal. Maybe after this coronavirus has passed and Joanne's opens back up, you too can have your own pair of Life's a Stitch socks. Yes, that's where they came from. So, um... Have a great week. Thanks for watching and visiting and checking out my shop. And um, if you would like any custom made bags, give me a message, send me a message and we can work something out. Um, you can always send me fabric if you don't find anything you like in the shop. I'm more than willing to, uh, more than glad to make custom made, made bags. So. So I think that's it. Happy Tuesday. Well, okay, we will see you later then. Bye.